Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Philip Sadiq Show. Not too many films are going to get me to wear a wig like this. <laughs> However, this new film out, I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. Trolls. We have the directors with us, Mike Mitchell and Walt Dorn. 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 Yes. Okay, they're going to tell us their direct, how they directed the film and working with Justin Timberlake and Anna Kendrick. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Thanks Thank for you. having us. Yeah. All right. Tell us about your directing process for this particular film and what made you interested in making this type of film? Well, first off, um, we just started with uh, this character that existed, these little trolls with the hair, and we're really uh, fascinated that there was no story for them. There's no backstory, there's no mythology, so we got to create this whole brand new world. Yeah, and create our own characters, our main characters. You know, we, there wasn't any real troll characters with names or personalities, so that's what excited us the most. Starting from scratch was the funnest, funnest part. And you do pay homage to the original trolls with no clothes on, the wooden right. trolls, because we had those and we're growing up and we used to scare our little sister with them. Yeah, so. the, one, the little bare butt. Yeah. Yes, yes. So you had yeah. me hooked right from there. Yeah, in fact, my <laughs> sister had her little troll doll was uh, an enemy to Barbie. She would come in and steal Ken away from Barbie. It's really, really <laughs> strange. All the way back then, all the way back then. <laughs> now, directing Justin and Anna, I mean, they're in a voice booth. How do you accomplish that? Because, yeah, I've never seen that before. How do you accomplish well, that? Well, we do it a little differently. Most of the time in animation, you're kind of behind a glass and you lean in. Okay, do it faster. <laughs> you know, but we do it a little differently. We go inside the booth with Anna and Justin and play the scene back and improvise, and we're a little bit more loose like that. Walt's an actor himself, so he does, oh. he does a few voices. He does Cloud Guy in this film, and so it's really handy to have an oh. actor playing around with the other actors, and, they, uh, and uh, it creates like a better energy, I think, when we barge in the room with them, the recording booth with them, and really <laughs> go at it. Now, we have to talk about the music. Yeah. I mean, you have some old school music that took me back. Lionel Richie, you have Earth, Wind, and Fire. I mean, you have even... True Color, Cindy Lauper, and Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was hooked. Why did you choose those particular songs from that era and then bring them up? Because you had a little rap in there, and that was yeah. for the Bergens. Yeah. Bergens got the rap, of course. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. On I'm Coming Out, we had a little uh, right. Yes. rap. That's right. Yeah. Ross. We did Zoe right. Deschanel yeah. raps for the first time ever, I think. <laughs> Zoe rapped. She did a good job. Um, it was really fun to look. What our, our main objective was is to tell a great story with music. And very early on, we wanted to do that. But we wanted to make sure that the songs, the, the story didn't stop for a musical yes. moment, that the, that the songs helped propel the story. The song was still telling a story. So it was, it was kind of a fun process to listen yeah. to thousands of songs to make there sure. There were thousands we listened to, but we also were looking for songs in the classic songs that stood the test of time. You know, yeah. great songs that you, we still listen to today, like Lionel Richie mm -hmm. and Earth, Wind and & Fire. And Earth, Wind & Fire worked on this film, by yeah. the way. They came in You're and worked kidding. with Justin. It yes. was really cool. That was one of his, that was yes. like on his bucket list. I've got to work with those guys. So they, they worked together. Oh, my yeah. goodness. It was neat. <laughs> Gosh, I remember seeing them at the Oakland Coliseum. Yeah. But I digress, I digress, I digress. <laughs> no, yeah. let's talk about that. Yeah, yeah. that was, okay. I mean, they... What happened that night? Okay, Did you they asked, I'm going to tell you. No, <laughs> no, they, Earth, Wind & Fire, they put on a great show, and they disappeared. They had a pyramid land on the stage. Cool. Nice. Okay. That's great. They disappeared. Yeah. They blew the pyramid up. <laughs> we thought they were dead. They, these guys come back in space suits, and it's them. Oh, uh, that's so cool. Nice. That's yeah. <laughs> I was like, that was that's just amazing. blowing me away. We They're should cool. use that in the sequel. Yeah, right. A pyramid <laughs> explosion. The yeah. cleanup space crew is done. That's it. Done. I love it. Uh, but, it, but it was fun and, and really great to work with Justin Timberlake because we have so much music throughout this from all different eras, and Justin, as our music producer, really brought like a unity to all those songs. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm a geek. I love computers. Me too. Welcome to the club. P yeah. Perfect. How did you get the animation? I saw yarn. I saw carpet. I mean, I saw buttons on the, the snake eyes. Yeah. And I was like, How did they get that? And the hair was so fine. Yeah. I can do Photoshop, but I'm not that good. Yeah. Well, it really helps to have a, a brilliant production designer. Kendall Cronkite was our production designer, and she's amazing. But early on, Walt and I wanted this handcrafted feel to our film. And so we took this technology, and CGI has become so advanced that things could look very realistic. So we took that same technology, and we added different textures. So our trolls, instead of skin, they look like gummy bears that have been flocked in velvet. Yeah, the whole world has fiber and felt, and their houses are made of hair. The ground yeah. is yeah. carpet, right? 
and in fact, they did have to create new technology for the hair itself. You know, it was so such an advanced idea on how much we wanted to use the hair. It was their superpower, yeah. essentially. They could change yeah. the color of their hair. They could they could hair grow it in fire. any shape. Yeah, hair that's is right. fire. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Now let's talk about the love story for a quick moment between Poppy and Branch. Branch. Yeah. Yes. The two worlds collide. Yeah, so. contentious chemistry. Yeah, these it two. <laughs> it was definitely a narrative engine, you know, to get these two characters with opposing worldviews, but underneath you could feel this attraction, you know, and that was essential for us. Yeah, they they bother each other so much it must be love, right? <laughs> yes. But it was it, it um, to have Anna Kendrick as this positive troll character and Justin Timberlake as this really negative character. It really helped us explore our theme of of happiness. We really wanted to make a film that kind of, uh, we researched a lot of about happiness and how do you get it and how do you lose it. And, mm -hmm. and, um, and, and there's some great Harvard studies they've been doing for like four decades on happiness. So we learned a lot about really the source of happiness. We learned that it actually, we're all born with this innate ability to be happy. Yeah. Sometimes we need someone to help us bring it out. Yeah, like I, I, need it, I need it all the time. That's what this guy does <laughs> for me. It was fantastic. I'm serious. It was just a great, great film. I'm so glad we got, you liked it. I really, really enjoyed it. That makes I, me feel yeah, good. We're we're really watching. proud of it. So to hear that that it makes other people happy, it's just like yeah. that's the best thing in the world. Yeah, I was right. dancing in my seat, and they're, so they're, <laughs> they're and their life lessons that are under, undergirds everything else. Yeah. about happiness. Yeah, yeah. that like, was really important to us. Yeah, like the trolls were told a story. Yeah, I mean the burgers, you have to eat them to be happy, yeah. and it comes out, uh oh. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. We gotta wrap up, guys. They're giving me the signal, but guys, okay. thank you so much. Thanks thank so you. much. Nice meeting you. Trolls, go out and see it, support it. You know, you I may give you the <laughs> No, you're not getting this. You're not getting this. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. Great to meet you. Hug time, yeah. hug yeah. time. Oh, let's do it. Hug, hug time. time. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Yeah.